PA, welcome to Sir Ebs Tutorials. Karong gabi eh, uh, we will have to discuss uh, topics in connection with our previous discussion. Uh, because previously, atong gi-discuss before ang ginatawag na itong uh, topic uh, rela relative to motor vehicles and uh, professional driver's license. Now, let's start first with the, the question uh, we previously posted in our uh, page. Uh, the question was, uh, if you are being hired by a private company, is there a need nga dapat imong lisensya should be professional? Okay? But, uh, that was the question. If you are being hired by a private company, need ba that your license should be a professional driver's license? To answer that question, basically, we will base uh, our answer based on the mandate of the law. That can be seen by Section 3 of RA 4136 uh, defining a professional driver's license. Now, based from that particular section, accordingly, a professional driver's license is those paid for driving and hired for dri driving, whether for private or for publicly used. So ba based from that particular definition by the law, there are two uh, types of, uh, there are two really uh, we need to consider a professional drivers. One is paid for driving. Basically, those who in the public utilities, those for hire, are said to be paid for driving. However, the second one is hired for driving. So whether or not uh, it's a private institution or private company, once you are being hired by an institution as a driver, definitely it requires a professional driver's license. So take note, a professional driver's should be, one, paid for driving, and secondly, hired for driving. So professional does not only uh, up to, uh, does not only required for, for hire, uh, government vehicles. However, those who, are, who is also being hired to drive uh, by a company, a private institution, also requires a professional driver's license. At least we know uh, what is being required by law. Otherwise, when we drive a company vehicle, you are being hired by a company to drive their vehicle, then your license is a non-professional driver's license. Basically, that's a violation. The violation would be a what we call inappropriate driver's license classification because your license is not appropriate for the vehicle you are operating. Because, as I said earlier, once you are being hired, it requires a professional driver's license. Okay? So, I do hope that that will clear uh, the, the question we raised before. So, that will answer the question I recently uh, posted in the page. The second topic we have to discuss is about motor vehicle. There were, there were two questions I posted uh, during my previous discussion. The first question is that, is there any motor vehicle that is not compulsorily required to be registered? That's the first, sec the first question. The second question is that, uh, is there a motor, is there, is there a vehicle without an engine but required compulsorily to be registered or renewed? Okay, we have to answer the two questions. The first question is that, is there any motor vehicle that is not compulsorily required to be registered? Basically, yes. If we look at Section 3 again of 4136, it defines there a motor vehicle. That is why a there are vehicles that are not that is not or that, uh, that are not compulsorily required to be registered. What are those? For example, grader, forklifts, diba? cranes. Uh, th those are the, the the kind of vehicle that is not compulsorily required. Why? Because that particular vehicle, those forklifts, uh, 
cranes, uh, graders, and the likes are vehicles intended to be used for agricultural purposes. Meaning to say, it is not being operated in public highway. Even though it is being propelled by power or has engine, but that kind of vehicle should not be operated. That particular vehicle is not being operated in a public highway because it is being used only for agricultural purposes. Therefore, since it is for agricultural purposes, it is not compulsorily required to be registered. And therefore, therefore, these particular vehicles are not also allowed to be used or operated in public highway. For the reason, first, it is not being registered. Secondly, it can uh, damage uh, our roadways or highways because these vehicles are only used in agricultural purposes. There was an answer from the question previously uh, about electric vehicles. Uh, for the information of everybody, sooner uh, there will be a uh, proper um, uh, guidelines in the registration of an electric vehicles. Remember this one, electric vehicles are uh, being required to be registered. So, yun lang mga grader, forklifts, cranes, and the likes are the vehicles that are not compulsorily required to be registered. Second, is there a vehicle uh, that has no engine but required to be registered? The answer is still yes. If we can look also Section 3 of 4136, there was their articulated vehicles. And articulated vehicles are vehicles being attached to a vehicle. Okay? That is what we call a trailer. Diba? Articulated vehicle or trailer. Remember, a articulated vehicles are also required to be registered or renewed because it is being attached to a motor vehicle and it is being operated in public highway. Okay, so I do hope that this discussion will uh, clear those uh, <clears throat> topics, questions regarding professional driver's license and matters of motor vehicles. Thank you and good night to each and